everybody, it's Erin Woods, your children's ministry coordinator. Today I brought some rocks. These are just rocks from out front of the church. A long time ago in Jesus' day, they used rocks to build buildings. And so when you went to go build a building and you went to start, you had to find the perfect piece that would start your building. And they called that a cornerstone. Okay. And if you didn't have the right shape cornerstone, building your uh, building wouldn't work out so well. But you had to have a really good first rock to get started. Another word for a rock is a stone. And in today's Bible verse, it says that we want to be like a living stone. The book that we are reading this month is First Peter. And Peter refers to Jesus as a stone, a living stone, our cornerstone, meaning Jesus is what we build our faith around, our church around, kind of like the cornerstone and the building that we build the building around. But if you think about it, it doesn't just take one stone to build a church, does it? No, it's going to take lots of rocks. And that's where we come in. Jesus is our cornerstone, but it's very important that we are there too to build up around Jesus. Now, I don't have very good building stones here, but I think that you can maybe visualize what I'm talking about. So if Jesus is the cornerstone, the rest of us have to be around him to build that church up. We have our Sunday school teachers, our pastors, the greeters, the tech people, the people that serve communion and volunteer, and the people that serve donuts or bring in snacks, the person that cleans up afterwards, the person that runs the office. All those people are so important. They're all of the other stones that are surrounding Jesus and help build up the church. We are those people. We are the living stones that surround Jesus that build up our church. And are you a stone too? Kiddos, youth, everyone, you are, no matter how big or how small you are, you are still an important living stone to our church. Maybe grab a stone the next time you see one that catches your eye and stick it in your pocket. And that will help you remember every time you put your hand in your pocket how important you are to our church and to Jesus and God and their church. Remember to go out this week and be kind and show God's love everywhere you go. All right, bye.